Welcome back at Chula Vision Kite Spot Checkouts. Subscribe now. Click the bell and get notified as soon the next Chula Vision Kite Spot Checkout will be available. Hello, everybody. Welcome back at Chula Vision. Today I'm in uh, Greece, uh, Lefkada. And uh, actually, I would say, <laughs> again, a great kite spot. Today, no winds, unfortunately, but uh, the rest of the week was good. Uh, I sailed a few times with a 17, but uh, also with a 9 and a 12. Uh, I'm gonna show you around, guys. Come on, join me for a ride. In this episode, you will see more than one kite spot. Chulo Vision went on a kite holiday with the Dutch kite surf travel organization Kite Active. Kite Active has a hotel in Lefkada, Greece. Besides to the home spot Agios Nicolis, they take you to other great kite spots around. Are you someone that prefers a helping hand by kite surfing? Or do you prefer doing your own thing but fancy some supervising? Or you are already a great rider just looking for fun and meeting other kiters? Then you are at the right place. Together you go to cozy restaurants. The Greek food is great. Do not forget to taste moussaka, tzatziki or saganaki shrimp. Ok enough about kite active. Let's enjoy Greece and check out the great Lefkata kite spots. Do you fly with me to beautiful sunny beaches? Just buckle up and stay tuned. Agios Nikolos Beach is only a 5 minute drive from the Kite Active Hotel. Depending on the wind direction, you could choose either going to the beach or to the lagoon. During the summer months the thermic onshore wind usually starts to pick up around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. With a offshore wind the lagoon could be an option. Be aware though that the wind could be very gusty here. The beach is quite stretched, there is plenty space to pump, launch and land your kite. Since the water is relatively flat and you can stand in the water for the say first 30 to 50 meters it is a great spot for learning how to kite surf. If it might go wrong there is a lifeboat. So relax and just give it a try. Look at this, can you imagine you are riding here yourself in your swimsuit? The water has very pleasant temperature and the sun is shining whole day. At the end of your session you can take a refreshing drink in the loungy beach bar. Now we come to the conclusion for Agios Nicolas Beach. Alright, let's check out the lagoon now. It is only a 5 minutes walk from the beach, but you also could park your car directly at the lagoon. The lagoon has nice flat water. Be aware at some points the water is very shallow. If you like mud, you are the right place. We will discuss the next beaches in bit less detail. But for sure Chulo wants to mention that Simari is for him the best kite spot ever. It is very remote, there is really nothing around, the closest village is at an hour drive. At a small hut on the spot you could buy some food and drinks though. The lagoon has great flat and shallow waters, but if you like to be in the waves though you just sail out to the open water. Simari offers you the best of two worlds. It is beautiful and amazing. Chulo will park his camper here for sure one day in the near future. Now we are driving to one of Greece's most famous spots Strepano. For the Kite Active Hotel in Agios Nikolos it is almost a two-hour drive. A very impressive road with a huge toll bridge. Some bring some coins. Wind quality wise Cape Drepano is probably the hottest spot in Greece. It can be a paradise, but it can also a nightmare, since at high tide there is no more sandbar and there is no space to set up your kite. It ambience at shore is quite tense, Many people are stressed out about launching their kite. But as soon as you are on the water, it's great. You have an enormous space for practicing your tricks. You will make a lot of progress for sure. It is also nice to watch the pro riders at the flat water side of the sandbank. They do amazing tricks.
Milos Beach is very close to Lefka City. It is the best place to bring your family, that could hang out in the nice restaurant. There is a small kite and repair shop, very handy in case you need some gear. There is also a kite surf school and rental unfortunately I did not kite a Milos Beach myself and therefore do not have footage. The water is Caribbean blue. Be careful with the reef though. Locals will inform you on the spot. Greece is one of the best places in the world for kiteboarding since the wind is blowing more than 250 days per year with temperatures above 23 degrees Celsius. At Lefkada the wind conditions are the best in the summer, around 3 o'clock a thermic wind picks up. I was sailing mid-September 7th out 9 days, but at few days I had to pump my 17 square meters kite. Wind differs a lot per spot, so keep a close look at your wind app. For the windy app, the super forecast is very suitable in case of Lefkada. Every day it is very sunny and the water has a pleasant temperature, so leave your wetsuit at home. At Greek spots I did not see too much kite schools and therefore I could not do too much research. For Lefkada I advise you to take a look at the Kite Actus website. They have very reasonable package deals. The Greek food is delicious and you will find many. Picturesque and cozy restaurants. Unfortunately there is not in big choices between different international cuisines. Most of the time you end up eating Greek or Italian food. I like to point out two nice romantic restaurants. First of all Taverna 7 Island, here you can eat a great moussaka. If you want to enjoy a great view, you should drive a bit and go to Rachi restaurant. From a mountain you are viewing the sea and enjoying more fine dining. If you feel like taking a break for the great Greek ambience, you should go to Bar Havana in Lefka City. It takes you to Cuba for a night. While listening to live Cuban music, sipping on a Cuba Libre or another nice cocktail you can brag about your kitesurf performance of the day. If you are in the mood for a real party, you should go to the city Bonitsa. Over here you will find a great outdoor nightclub or a Paradiso Plus. I advise you to go there only if the wind prediction for the next day is not good. The party goes on all night long. Be warned. Don't you forget why you are in Greece in the first place? It takes you 27 hours to get from Holland to Greece. So if you have a bit more time, it would worth considering to go by motorhome you could park it at beautiful spots. An option is to take the ferry from Italy, it saves you a lot of driving time. In 3 hours you fly with Transavia from Amsterdam to Preveza airport. From Preveza it takes another 15 minutes by car to get to the Kite Active Hotel. Life in Greece is much cheaper than in the Netherlands. You easily could go out for dinner for less than 15 euro. Kite Active offers attractive package deals. If you want to save money on lodgement you could decide to share a room. Flight tickets start from 150 euro. You pay 100 euro to take your own gear. Return flight. And now the final verdict for Kite Spot Lefkada. Five points. Chulo will be back in Lefkada for sure. But now rapidly to a new kite spot Chulo. Do not forget to like and share this video. Subscribe and set the alarm and do not miss the next episode.